G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Millionaire, where we're trying to get a million dollars as quickly as possible, and at the moment I'm a little bit scared, a little puckered up in my attic at the moment, because there is a wandering horde just downstairs, they showed up halfway through the night, and they've just been shambling about at my front door this whole time, so I've been up here holding my dagger with my headlight off, just like sitting in fear in the darkness, praying that they're not gonna find me. But now, now I need to go. I need to go and do that quest at the bear den just down the road to appease Trader Bob down here so it was send me some good stuff. So I need to get cracking with my day, which means there's no use me hiding anymore. If I'm gonna do it, may as well do it my own way with a shotgun in hand. But I have to get down there and get cracking on it nice and quickly. Yeah, oh, they are kind of over there now. That's all right. But they know where I am. They're gonna be coming for me before too long. I don't have a silencer on this bad boy. So this is gonna get a little loud a little bit quickly, but don't have a choice anymore. I'm gonna have to just let it fly. All the zombies are dead and the sun has come up. So the world is only slightly less blood curdlingly dangerous as it was a second ago. So I can now get off and go and murder some bears. I don't like the bear den. I don't like the bear den at all. Every time I go there, I say to you guys, I'm like, I should bring the AK with me because having fully automatic is definitely a better idea than rolling with the shotgun. Although I do have the shotgun extender mod on it now and um, the, the barrel shortener mod, so extra damage as well. So I might actually be okay. It's just always a bit of a, a bit of a unfortunate moment when you realize that just up there, there are two big ball sacks of death ready to tear me limb from limb. And I'm, well, I don't have a choice. I have to be here for it. I don't want to be, but I am. I'll break you down actually for some extra headlights. I just want this to go well. If I get my face swatted off by a bear again, I'm not going to be happy about it. All those zombies are just hanging out in the beer vat. So I'll just make short work of you guys. One there, one there. I do kind of wish that the arrows had some penetration. I know I could get like the rifle or something like that and well, shoot through the door and shoot the zombie on the inside as well. But arrows are cheap and relatively inaccurate, but also relatively plentiful is what I was gonna say. There we go, they're all done. Looting gogs back on. Grab myself some extra gubbins on the way through and also can't forget that I do need to get my supplies. I'm feeling stressed. I'm feeling stressed already. Ooh, I didn't realize there'd be loot in here. How do I get into you? Yeah, I'm feeling stressed already with just how the game is played out, how little time I have up my sleeve. Grab that one. I didn't even know that that was a place where things could spawn. I have to keep that in mind for next time. This guy just can't believe his luck. He got shot in the chest with a shotgun. He's like, nah, I refuse to accept it. Well, unfortunately, bud, you don't especially get a choice. You can waggle your neck about all your bloody want like your motorboat and bloody stifler's mum. But nah, so it sucks. You know, Look, something, some bad things happen to you. There's not a whole lot you can do to avoid it. Don't need murky water right now. Do. Oh, there's no one there. All right, I was getting all excited to potentially get out there and murder whoever was waiting for me. Let's murder these girls instead. God, the shotgun still feels good. It's just like, it's slicing through zombies like a teaspoon in a Vegemite jar. It just feels good to do. Still need to get rid of this bloody tree though. As always, I'm not gonna drop down into the bear den, well, the actual bear den part of the bear den, uh, the way the game wants me to, because that is a suicide mission. Cheeky purse up there. Can I grab you, please? There you go. Anything inside you? No, nope, never mind. Always gonna go through this way. I don't have that much of a death wish. I spent way too long and way too much effort getting to the point where I had a couple of thousand dollar reduce. I don't want to lose it just for some short-sighted nonsense. I might need some more money, actually, before I go back down there. Maybe I should go back and get, like, another stack of coins, or is that just kind of redundant, given I am gonna hand in this quest? I think like, it actually might be. All right, before I go fight the bears this time, I will grab the loot in case I need to run out of here very quickly. Did I forget the supplies? No, I got the supplies. We're fine. I just, I can't trust myself to actually be competent at this. Some frothies, some food. Thank you. Got some ammo as well. 762s. I would like some more shotgun ammo because I'm using it very flippantly. Ooh, a book I haven't read. Now it's the worst one of that series. I'll read you anyway. I'll sell you. I will take the iron arrows and you guys to sell as well. And some more shotgun rounds as well. Thank you very much. A steel shove. Scrap you for the steel tool parts. Take the repair kit and actually just repair the shotgun now because why bloody not? 
Motion sensors could get as well. Last but not least, what's in the weapons bag? Ah, shotgun and more ammo. Thank you very much. Just gotta kill this bear real quick. We've done this before. Nothing particularly new or exciting about it. There we go. Take the arrows out of you. Look, I did have a couple of peppers at you while you were still in your cage. Like that. Get the hang of the power strokes. Nice. Okay. I can't quite hit your friend though, though, because as soon as I walk in, he gets woken up, gets real mad about it. Yeah, see, I can't get the stealth, which kind of sucks. But you can just stick your head through there. I'm fine with that. Oh, get wrecked. Get wrecked. That was a way easier kill. Turns out, hey guys, do you know that headshots are apparently really effective at killing zombies? Who would have thought? Job done. Place clear to both zombies and potential loot so I can now leave without anything stating my conscience. So that was just... Yo, that was the bobby I'm going to. I still need to go up north to hand in that one soon. Uh, I'll head home first just to drop off some gubs. And then we'll go north, then we'll go south. Bit of a... Bit of a long-winded adventure, bit of a road trip, I suppose. But we've got to tick off all of those boxes and see all of our friends and make all of that money. No point doing the jobs I'm not going to get the rewards for them. And then I still need to find that awesome sauce recipe, though. So I'm going to buy the learning elixir recipe from southern bobby and that's fine i just gotta find what that awesome sauce is though we'll stumble across it at some point and all my dreams will come true but until then we just have to cross our digits and hope i know i did say i was gonna grab an extra stack of coin but i'm not going to i'm gonna hand in the quest to get some money from him anyway and i don't want to be rolling around with a fat stack of 20k because then i'll just either do something dumb or like won't have the inventory space to handle it all Rock buses, another hackers. I'll take you. Nothing else getting me excited in them. I have some rock buses candy already, so when I do choose to go and harvest a bunch of iron to either make turret ammo or whatever I need it for, I have the candy there to do it. I don't need a whole heap of it though. Like I'm only gonna go like I do a solid bit of mining every now and again. It's not gonna be a staple of all of my days, so that's all right. Oh wait, this isn't, isn't this still a bunch of concrete of that POI? I feel like I made a bunch of concrete there and then just probably forgot about it and just left it there for a rainy day. I'll get it. I'll get it eventually. When I need it, it's there waiting for me. Jolly boy, just park up out the front. Quickly duck inside and check your vendo. Always will. Skull crushes. Never actually found out if the skull crushes affect Sammy or not. I feel like they should, but I definitely had that thought that never crossed their mind again. XP Gogs on. Have a quick chat. Ooh, okay. A tier 3 ratchet, which is actually worth a bit of money, but also just better than my current wrench. Given I'm breaking stuff down a lot, that's actually pretty tempting. There are only tier 3 steel leggies or a better knife. I think the ratchet's the most the most valuable uh, item, not monetarily wise, but woodletary wise. So give me that one. Thank you very much. Got a couple of jobs that's nearby. Lots of tier threes. Is that the one that goes back to my regular I've town? Old tree. Let's have a little look. See, is it that one? Yeah, it is. Okay, there it is, just there. It's still, it's on that row of houses just near my house, so that's fine. I'll hold on to you. In fact, while I'm here, let's just have a quick little gander at your gubs, because you might have some good stuff for me. Do you have another bellows? No. Do you have, what's that thing I'm looking for? Oh, awesome sauce. No, nothing in there. So I'm just getting to the point now where I'm not actually sure of the things that I'm trying to buy. I'm just kind of waiting for something to jump out at me. Nah, nothing in there either. Okay, Been all right, that's you. fine. Yeah, catch you later, Jolie. I'll see you again. Gonna head back south again. It's a long body drive. Should have got some coffee or something from you first. I just had the thought as I'm out here driving through the forest, burning fossils to make dinosaur power. Um, do I have the ability at the moment to make pumpkin cheesecake? I need Master Chef all the recipe for. That's probably fair enough. Pumpkins. I actually have. I think I have some pumpkin seeds at home. Only two. But I don't have the ability to make it yet. But that's going to be a pretty big staple later on in the game. Like, that's going to give me better bartering even more. So, in fact, I think pumpkin cheesecake... 5% discount when bartering again. So, I've got my... This, this is why all of my percentage of points count. So, awesome sauce is like 15%. Cheesecake is 5%. The cigar is like 5%. The magnum is another 5% as well. So, there's a whole bunch of things you can do. Like, running out of fossils. There's a whole bunch of things you can do to get yourself much better deals. What's the... 
Sparta Candy Giving as well, another 10%. So you could even end up getting like 50% off, which is actually pretty considerable. But also it gives you like an extra 50% on selling things as well. So I think... Oh, I think I should probably, when I get home tonight, set up a whole extra bit of farm somewhere in my POI, somewhere in my base so I can start growing pumpkins. Because I'm going to be burning through pumpkins like you wouldn't bloody believe. I'm definitely going to need to have a fair supply of them. Okay, so yeah, I'll build a bigger farm when I get back there. I just need to find a place to do it. I'm just glad I thought about it now, not later, but I still have time to make good on it. This is the turn-off that I was looking for. The road's a little bit Humpty Dumpty, but that's... Oh, God. The game's a little bit... Oh, God. The game's a little Humpty Dumpty as well. He's eating me off cliffs now. Come on, gods of seven days. You can't be doing that shit. I know you want to kill me. I don't want to get your revenge, but there's ways to do it, and that isn't one of them. This road's all over the bloody shop. All right, maybe the other way is the right way to go. It's a little bit more bendy, but with some actual driving uh, talent and skill, I might be able to circumvent the muppetry that is me. We'll head back on out there. That, uh, yeah, that was a bit, that was a bit more than I bargained for there. Not really how I saw that going down. Bobby boy, pulling up out the front. Have I checked your mailbox yet? I have not. That's poor by me. Didn't anything in there anyway. And I left your door open. Jeez, that's very poor for me. My bad. Uh, what have you got for me? Another hackers. I'll take you. Not much else. Oh, actually, before I get... What, both doors are open? Josh, were you raised in a barn? I know you're raised in the barn, but you definitely should have closed the doors when you left this place. Uh, we barter candy in. Prices. I know you have good Survivor. prices. You're about to have My better prices for me. You are going to give me Here's another couple of role. thousand dollars. Women do 10% more damage when using a scope. Oh, but a tier 5 baseball bat! I want you. I want you alive, but it's a book or a bat, and I want them both. If I, if it gets to the point where I can never find Sniper Volume 1 because of this decision, I'm going to be upset, but I'll take the better baseball bat because baseball bat rules all. You've got a bunch of jobs a million miles away, standard fare for Bobby Boy, but more importantly, I need to buy your gubs. Three and a half grand for the auger. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right decision or not. I'm umming and ahhing and nervous as shit. I think this may not be the popular decision. <laughs> this may not be what everyone thinks. But I think the right call is to buy both of them. So I'll buy the auger because that's going to make like mining iron and stuff so much easier. Just having power tools should work out well for me. Uh, I'll also buy... Don't need the auto shoddy. I do have some monochrome of self-control. I'll also buy the steel pickaxe. Another three grand. I think those are both the right calls. Now, I found that book for free. I would like... Oh, both these books are kind of worthless. They're both series that I never bloody use. It's just my insatiable hunger to always take all the books I can. This telling me to buy them. So I'll buy... Yeah, I'll buy the Learned Elixir. That's good. I don't think I need them. Oh, but they're 600 bucks. Fuck it. Fuck it. Buy them both. Buy them both and try not to think too much about it, Josh. You'll make plenty of money down the road. You'll be okay. Give me that one as well. Uh, I don't think I need anything else in here for the moment. So I'll quickly swap over to my other goals to get your other secret stash. What are you offering me this time? First aid bandages, schematic? Absolutely. I need to be able to make myself first aid bandages as much as possible. Learn this trick to save through 20% more arrows. Yes, please. We're just spending cash left, right, and center. I'm going to end this day with far less money than we started with because even with all my jobs, I've spent like 10 grand now. Um, What else is in here? First aid schematic. Yeah, no, I don't need it. I've got plenty of those and never really need them anyway. Oh, boy. All right. I think that's about as good as it's going to be. I think that's all that I wanted to buy. Oh, God. I feel sick. I feel sick to my stomach. I feel like I did something wrong, even though I know it was probably something right. Read all of you. Swap over Bayball Bats. Oh, man. That was a time. That was... Oh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Now it's all said and done, I still feel a little queasy. So what's next? I'm not sure. I want to see... Like, there's The road goes out to the Burn Biome, but I'm less inclined to go exploring the Bernie Boys as I am to maybe just like see where this road goes. 
There's a bit of a Y junction over there, and I'm kind of curious about it. So let's go have a gander at that one. Bit of exploration. Never hurt anyone. That's a lie. I've definitely died before by getting my curiosity on, and just like a cat, that immediately murdered me. I'll take you, and I'll sell that one. What is it? Just for speakers? It's just for speakers. Don't need a schematic for speakers. That is A-OK. -okay. Uh, that's a cornfield with no corn in it. I do need corn. I can't make corn seeds right now. Always a little look out for something new that might tickle my fancy just that little bit. That's the that's the paper mill. Don't need that. If it was a pawn shop, I might stop off and have a gander at it. That's right. Man on the mission. Let's head back on the road and keep on driving. Just in the mood for exploring. Actually, you know what? One thing I didn't do that I said I was going to then immediately forgot because of course I bloody did. I was supposed to be looking through Trady's garbs to see if he had uh, any eggs for me. Not eggs, <laughs> I've already forgotten. Uh, some headlights for me, because that's what I need to make some more minibike handlebars. I forgot to look for him. Uh, hopefully he didn't have any, so I'm not looking too much like a pelican right now, but I bet you he did, because when I forget to look for him, that's when they have the garbs that I need. That's the turn off that I needed. I've got so I've plenty of fuel, so that's not too much of an issue. Because hopefully the next town isn't too far away. Sometimes it could be like 500 meters down the road, and other times it could be like 8 kilometers down the road. This could be a fair old ride. Nope, nothing on the horizon yet. We might be out here for a while. Oh, actually, there we go. There's the cotton seed. So I've undone the damage from when I refused to take it way back when. I can now grow my own cotton. Um, You can have your new mods in like that. May as well sell you. What are you worth? 270 bucks. Fair enough then. I had the new pickaxes hadn't swapped it over yet. But any cars I do stumble across on my journey here, I will stop off and have a squeeze through. Never know when you might find something good. And I'm always keen for some extra loot. Wouldn't be a loot fiend if I wasn't. Oh, I see the tippy top of a water tower. That's going to be a waterworks just there, which should mean that this is another town. That's a new fire station. Got some other buildings to go through as well. Fuck yes. How far away did I actually drive? Oh, not far away at all, actually. A couple of bendies, but not so bad. Do you reckon there's going to be another trading potato here? I'm hoping there is. I'm a little bit scant on cash, but, you know, it's because I spent it on things that I thought were worthwhile. Uh, I'll quickly check this little construction site to hopefully find the schematic. Oh, Damn it, just cement. I'm never going to find that bloody schematic. I've been looking for it for ages. Looks like either the burn biome or the wasteland down there. Uh, what textures on the ground? That's kind of the only way that I know to tell the difference. The trees are the same, but I know it's a different biome. What are ya? Oh, there's like embers on the ground. Okay, so it's just the burn biome. That's fine. Try and avoid all the rubble piles so you don't break your bike and get back to the main road. Nice. Oh, ooh. Ah, oh, it's Trader Rex! Bud! It has not been long enough since I saw you last, but it's kind of the necessity to come and have a, uh, have a chat to you. Um, I like that Trader Rex isn't my, my go-to trader. It's been a pleasant surprise having someone else to have to deal with for a little while so that Rex can go by the wayside. Cement mixer with some sand, workbench with some landmines. I'll sell those because I cannot be trusted to handle explosives. Some glass and some iron. You can go away. Check you for some fuel as well. Nothing doing. That's fine. You know, I didn't come to Trader Rect expecting to actually get stuff from him. Dude wouldn't give me a penny if I gave him a dollar. Despite having to drive to the other side of the world, I still have a minute 30 Damn left on my uh, no, wait, selling candy. So, it. before I do anything, quickly buy these things off me. You can have that one and that one as well. I'll save you to... Uh, put mods in you later on down the deck. Oh, that's all good for me. Nice. Hold on to all of that. Now, what do you have to sell me? What are you going to do for me so that I feel like you have a valuable existence in this world? You do have a double storage pocket mod, but I think all of my pocket mods now are doubles or better, so that's not actually what I need. Cornbread, coffee, more landmines, some sunnies... And not much else. Okay, well, you didn't have what I was hoping for. Also, before I forget, you don't have any headlights. Just to check for lights as well. No spotlights, but nothing what I need. I'm wearing the wrong goggles, actually. That was rather shit, silly of me. Maybe didn't make all good, the money I could just then. Check your secret me. stash. Steel. Spear hunter. No, don't need that one. Already read that one. 30 seconds left on the candy. Bar brawling. 
Uh, drinking beer no longer blows your vision. Definitely need that one. Need to get some alcohol tolerance about me. A steel pickaxe. 44 Magnum, auto shotgun, a better auger. I mean, that's fine. That's, I already have the other auger. I'm not too uh, remissant about buying it. Basil bat, steel leg armor. Okay, not much. No worries, not much there. Deal's done. Go quick. Go quick. It, go quick before you take it all away from me. Shot oh, just buy that one. Don't even know what it was, but buy it anyway. Anything else? I think we're pretty good. What did I actually just buy? Targets with full health take 20% more damage from a shotgun. That was a good buy. Happy with that. Not really much else from him, to be perfectly oh, honest. I'll have a little gander at what jobs you, you have. Got a tier three, ooh, tier three fetch and clear only 200 meters away. I've Chance to make more. some of my you money back. That'll do nicely. Just back up in the temperate biome rather than down in the burny garbage. Oh, okay. There's a couple up. If you get to know what, nah, stuff here, right? I'll leave your door wide open and gaping and welcoming for the zombies to come and have a chat. Stay away from my motorcycle, Loza. I know you want to ride anything that's mine. That is not the way to get about it. Nice. I think I just shot my bike a little bit. I'm sorry about it. But I have to quickly murder uh, all the zombies that were coming for you. Have to protect you by damaging you just a little bit. This is the joint just here. So let's pull up out the front. Uh, loot and specs back on, please, to check old mate's mail. Ooh, Tamer Blade schematic. I'll use you. I can make you to selling things later on. Have that. Give me you real quick just to make sure you're nice and fueled up and ready to go. Um, lock in all four of those and shove all of that into them. Read you, read you, and store you. Nice. All right. Ooh. Are you something sneaky? You might be something sneaky. Let's have a quick little squeeze through your garage to see if there's something worthwhile for me. Oh, God. Arlene. Give us a spell, would you? You can't just show up inside me front pocket. Fucking Jesus, fuck. Oh, ScoMo, you blimp dick dick bag. You asshole. How are you still okay from that? You scared the fucking dick out of me. Oh my God. Where's my painkillers? I need my painkillers. I don't have my painkillers. You fucking ass hat ScoMo. Go and remove your head from the pouch that is your anus, your anus even, and fuck right off. There's nothing even really in here. I got greedy for loot and I paid the price and I regret many of my decisions. Serves me right for trying to double dip on a POI. Oh man, that sucked. That entirely sucked. Give me, actually, give me one of you, just in case there is something worthwhile in here. Lock it in a place. All right. Well, let's restart the POI and do it all again. Hopefully a little bit better this time. That was a rather inauspicious start to a raid. I am now on edge. I'm feeling a bit worse for wear. I'm not happy about things. I'm just going to have to murder the zombies with particular aggression. So I don't have a car exploded in my face again. Here we go again. No. Oh, God. No sign of ScoMo, but is the sign of a puppy. Can I, like, just get up and over the top? There you go. Put one right between the eyes. What is going on with my bow? I feel like it shoots high for no reason a lot of the time. You didn't die, did you? Oh, no, you didn't. No idea where the arrow came from, though, so I put another one through. Um, Yeah, I feel like half the time, my bow shoots way higher than it really has any right. So I have no idea why it does it. Steel tool parts. I'll take my arrows back out of you, and then I'll take your bones out of you as well. Can I... There you go. Can I actually make a connection with you? Not spiritually or emotionally, just physically with my blade. Take that... Check you as well. I'm now scared of the bloody car. Just a death trap waiting to happen. The ScoMo waiting upstairs to plonk his big belly down and steal me Big Macs. So I'll kill you first. <laughs> because I don't think I can kill ScoMo with one arrow, so it's better to pick off all his friends. Ah, with some bullshit hitboxes. There we go. That's a better pill. You're not going to flop on down to give me my arrows back, which is heckin' rude. Yeah, I didn't think you were going to die from that, but it was worth a shot. Damn it. Come on, there we go. How am I missing with all the pellets I'm throwing out? How am I still missing the job? Everyone down here is now dead. We're good to go upstairs. Still to the final supplies, which should hopefully be just there, actually. There it is. Is there a zombie waiting for me on that side? No, we're good. We're fine. Is yes. There's a bikey boy just hanging out in the bathroom here. As much as I'd love to go with the bow and arrow, can I get like... Never mind. I was trying to get stealth shots with a shotgun, and turns out shotguns aren't particularly stealthy. Who would have thought? 
Grab you. Loot and gogs are still on. I haven't changed my gogs in a hot minute because I'm just kind of looting everything as I go anyway. No point like inning and outing all my glasses all the time. How do I get through? There's, I know the window's kind of broken. I don't want all the lacerations, but get out there, please. There's probably a couple of vultures hanging about. I'm ready to break in my brand new bats. Or quickly murder you. Murder your little pet bird over there as well. Like you're the villain in Iron Man 2. Bonds are my level up. Got a skill point to spend. On what though? No idea. Try and stay away from the false floor. Jump on top of the desk to search it. Pink BDUs. Oh, and a leather dust is actually worth quite a bit of money. 22 and 2 compared to 13 and 20. So you're a better all-rounder than the puffer coat is. You're worth about the same as well. Modify you. I'll take both you out of that. I think the, the leather dust is the way to go. Like, less cold resist, but much more heat resistance. And given I do overheat more regularly than uh, get cold, I think that's probably the right call. Crickets are chirping outside. There's another book to sell as well. Always check the cupboards in case there's something good. Painkillers. I do need some of those. Get that inside me nice and quickly. Because I'm still fucked up from the stupid car exploding before. Heading up into the attic. Chels, how you doing? You're worthy of an arrow. Cop that. I think, isn't there usually someone hiding out in this corner over here as well? Yep, Arlene. Oh, you're a feral. Well, that's one way to deal with it, I suppose. Nice and quick and easy. Very much uh, in tune with Arlene's personal beliefs. Anything else around? Check you real fast. Some shotgun ammo. Always appreciated. And a sneaky bag with some stones in it, but not much more. Oh, I do remember this place, actually. This is the one with, like, has the false floor all along here, but has, like, dogs and things on the other side. So, charge through then. There's the pup. Now, you don't die from an arrow to the head, do you? No, you usually don't, but you definitely die from a shotgun to the face. That's definitely a better way to do it. And then in this way? I never remember what, like, the right way to get into this place is. I usually go the wrong way. I've now woken everybody up downstairs as well. Just hang on two seconds. I'll find a way to get to you in a moment. Well, I suppose this is as good as any. They're beating on something around here. I'm not entirely sure what, but I've got a little window <laughs> to murder all the zombies with, so this works fine to me. I'm going to need to get inside in a second. I just beat my way through the window afterwards. And yeah, they're still beating on something. That's all right. Come on. Come one, come all. Come to the little glory hole of death over here. I'll stick my rod through in a way you weren't quite expecting. Job done. Oh, we've got some decent loot here as well. So I'll quickly scoff down my loot and candy because, I mean, for like, what, a shotgun messiah box, a crate, and a weapons bag, and a medium ammo pile, that feels like it's got a decent chance of giving me some good stuff. So... I'll probably be proven wrong, but it's worth a try. Loot and gogs are on. Got a hammer and some lockpicks. Getting all the hammers now, which is nice and lovely. Iron spear and some parts. That's not particularly great, but okay. Ergonomic grip mod, not terrible. Check the ammo pile. Another three baseball bats. Uh, scrap you. Customized fittings mod can actually go into my armor and make me even better. Or is that the one that doesn't go? I think that's why it doesn't go into the, the cloth armor, so I might be shit out of luck on that one. But even so, check you. Another couple of diamonds. Scrap you. Some nuggies, some knuckles, and some parts that I can't fit in. Okay, fair enough. Then what can I get rid of? What don't I need right now? I don't need you, definitely. You can piss off. Um, I can turn that into duct tape. I don't need you guys anymore, nor do I need coffee fra uh, beans. Well, the fragments of coffee beans even. It's already pre-ground. Grab you and grab you. I'm now good to go. Nice. Okay. I thought that was a successful little raid. It's, oh, it's getting pretty late though. I need to quickly get the trade potato and turn in that quest before it's too late. Time is ticking away and I want my rewards. Trade erect. It's never a pleasure, but I am back to see you again. Uh, XP gogs on. Oh, actually, before I do anything, I don't have the inventory space to get my rewards, so put everything I've got into you. Just, nope, don't get on the bloody bike, you fat-fingered bitch. Christ, get a special dialing one next to me, try and press a button, apparently, because you can't handle it. Almost schematic, a tier 5 AK, or tier 5 gloves. Or a barbed wire mod, which will go... And I've already got the spikes mod, actually, so I can't put that on there. I think the AK is the right one. Give me you. Oh, I get an extra one as well. 
Don't know why, but I'll ha happily and graciously accept. And you're going to give me a Terry. Oh, as much as I would love to get another book, a Terry is definitely the better option. Give me you. Nice. So the reason that I... Ooh. Tier 4 opening trader routes. Now the trader Joel to the southeast. Only another kilometer away as well. But the reason I wanted the Terry was purely because I can now run the turrets up on the balcony of my horde base. So that if I do have to, like, if my other turret breaks or if I do have to go and uh, take a defensive position, I can turn on those turrets just by walking near them. So happy to finally have a Terry under my sleeve. He will need some ammo, but I can deal with that later. It's getting rather late, so let's head back home. It's going to be a bit of a drive. That was a good day, though. I got some good shit out of that. I'm happy with that adventure. Oh, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I've got bloody, what, a minute and a half left of my loot and candy, and there's some easy-to-get loot just here. So I'm going to quickly pop on in, say g'day to whoever's waiting for me in here. If anyone actually is, no, they're not. Keep on heading downstairs, because it's getting late. But there's a weapons bag. There's a weapons bag, and I am thirsty as fuck for any loot you want to give me. Is it just you? No, you as well. They're both dead. That is some express rating if I've ever bloody seen it. Have a squeeze through you. Steal parts of shotgun ammo. There's someone upstairs as well. Ah, just some parts. Could have been so much better, but could have been so much worse. It was worth the gamble. It was worth the attempt. Search the sinks as well just before I go in case they do have uh, any recipes in there. They do not. Search you. Nothing in there either. All right. Look at that. Look at that for express hyperspeed rating. Got in, got out nice and quickly and back on the bike before anyone even knew what hit him. Nice. Okay. Well, my loot and candy is about to go. The sunlight is about to go. So I'm not going to take any more risks. Just time for me to head back home. I'll get home well after dark, but that's okay. That's why I built in a headlight to this bad boy. Huh. <sighs> All right, Josh, take a breath. Lower your heart rate a little bit, because at the moment, it's squeezing itself through your bloody rib cage. <laughs> Made it back home. Just park the bike up on the curb outside. Take everything out of you that I can. I can't take much, because I'm absolutely shock a bloody block. Good to be home. So I wanted to make myself a, um, a farm to grow myself some pumpkins for later Josh to use, because he's definitely going to need them. I thought I'd have more time. I got a little distracted with all my shenanigans today that I've come home a little later than I was anticipating. But that's not especially so bad. I just need to start putting some thought, which is difficult for me, into what I want to do. You can all just hang out in there. I still, my entire dumpo box is full. Oh, and my shrooms are, my shrooms are fully grown. Okay, real quick, uh, swap out you so I can punch you. Like that, like that. Can I make, was it spores, I think? I don't have enough mushrooms to do it, but I will soon. I need to get a whole bunch of mushrooms on the go down there, so that's all right. Uh, let's just put you away into them. Sort out the rest of this garbage about where I can put different things so I can actually get my life in order. Come on, Josh, keep track of shit. My sellables box is finally full, which is good because it's traded potato day tomorrow. So I think I'll just use this one as my sellables box so you guys can go in like that. All of you guys, that one too and that one too and that one too. Keep Terry on me. In fact, actually... My food box is full as well. Why the shit are diamonds in my food box? What are you doing? What are you hanging out in there for? It's clearly not the right place for you. Got a couple of double ups, lots of water and stuff. Got one pumpkin seed. I thought I had two, but that's all right. You can go in there for a rainy day, all you guys as well. I might even need to, but I got some spare boxes over here. So I might go here and just go medical. I'll move everything over in a second. But I want to... Where could I? Maybe I could put like a door out here and put like my farm on the roof, maybe? I mean, I've already got this. Just like up here. Build like a bit of a flatter area so I can put all my crops up here and grow what I need to. I mean, I have some planters down there. I guess I can move them upstairs as well. Put them directly in the sunlight and increase the square footage of my balcony. It doesn't seem like too bad of an idea, actually. So how big do I want this to be? Let's go from maybe like here... Oh, so you're just a gable on top. That makes things a little bit easier. So it says harvest all of you. Crack open you a little bit. And just maybe like that big, I think is about right. No, one more. One more. We're just ringing it and using that gut feeling to tell us how big it needs to be. That should be fine. And then we just get rid of these ones. Let's expand it out using just regular blocks. 
won't impact like the, really the footprint of the house at all, nor the spacious areas inside, but will give me the ability to grow all the plants that I need. Just need to quickly grab some wood and also my nail gun, which is just there because I've laid out all like the the wireframe for what I want to do up here. Just wood for now, and it's only going to be wood, I suppose. I'll paint it to look nice later on. Get all you nice and upgraded. And this should be big enough. Look, it's six wide, so I can have crops most of the way around. If I need to expand it later, I guess I always could. In fact, I could even go, I could go like full farmer spec and have like crops all the way on the outside of the square. And then another couple are like just in the middle for some extra special crops. I'm not sure I'll ever have enough crops to actually justify that, but the idea is that I can have enough plants that whenever I go and harvest, it'll give me all that I need to last until the next harvest, which kind of makes sense. All along like that. I think I did the other side, didn't I? You and you. Yeah, no, nah, we're all good. We're all fine and dandy. That's lovely. I'm gonna pick up all of my seeds and also, I think it's the shovel that gives me you back. It is nice. I'll have to put some more um, some more railings up and then figure out a way to get in and out of my upstairs farm a little better than just jumping off the roof of my balcony. Go like that. So I need another, another six railings. You, I need six of you. Please craft that nice and quickly. And turn you into railings again. It's getting late at night, so we're running out of time. You, you. There and there. And then just get those wonderful corner pieces like that. What? Why, why didn't you change? That one there. That one and that one. Nice. Much more spacious out in the balcony to enjoy your coffees and your frothies. In fact, speaking of, let's get ourselves a frothy. I feel like we've earned it after today's adventures. That one and that one. Pants off, Bobby boy. Cheers, big ears. Put that into ya. No longer getting the foggies either because I've read the book on how to not be a bitch at a party. <laughs> um, God damn. All right, let's go put... I think I had some extras in here, didn't I? Grab you. Let's go put the new farm plots down and get my crops a growing. There we go. Just got my one corn, a whole bunch of potatoes, my pumpkin and some aloe just in case I need it. But that should be just about good. Um, uh, what's, what am I missing? I don't think I'm missing much. You guys can go back away. You can go into there. I need to figure out, like, separate all my medical stuff from my food stuff in here and move things across, but that's not too much of an ask. You go away, weapons and tools, you can have that one. So I need to go, actually, tomorrow. So tomorrow's trade potato day, so I do need to go and sell all of the gubs that is in here and also in there. This can be... For now, you're just the sellables. I'll stop using that safe. I'll break it down and get rid of it, I suppose. That could be the sellables box. So tomorrow, go and sell all my gubs, make all my money. And then I think I need to take that auger and go do some iron mining and make get as much iron as I can for two reasons. Well, actually, one reason is to make junk turret ammo. But I need junk turret ammo both for Terry, but also to sell. So I need to go and do a whole lot of mining. But I'm going to have to do all of that tomorrow. I'm leaving with what? Just over 50k, that's fair enough, but I'll make a buttload of bank to in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.